Hi guys, welcome back to the teaching and learning. This is Abdul Ghafur. I hope you are doing good. I found uh, two very interesting questions related with the bar graph and the line graph. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to share with you that how you're going to answer these questions. So I'll be talking about the various components about uh, these questions. And uh, uh, the other thing is that whenever you find these type of the questions, okay, so you have to directly think about it, that these questions, they are talking about the assessments, data analysis, the performance, progress, and all these things. Okay. So they are they will be asking to you to measure the performance, time, types, test difficulty, and the complex it labels the performance in international uh, tests, uh, performance in internal data, and all these things. Okay. So you should know the techniques and uh, you should more practice about these questions that you can uh, save the time. And the third thing, so I know these questions are a little bit time taking. So how are you going to accommodate uh, these questions uh, or uh, manage your time uh, by saving at least 10 seconds or 20 seconds from the other questions, uh, you can manage the time. So suppose you, you are answering first question and the first question is uh, about uh, the scenario and the general statements about that and the 15th question is about uh, the graph and line graph so you have to be very careful that there will be a certain uh, questions related to the line graph and bar graph okay so you have to plan uh, before you know when you start the test okay not uh, the time when you uh see the uh, you know the question and after that you started because you have already attempted the 15 uh, questions so if you multiply the 10 seconds by 15 that's a enough time okay so that is the thing you have to keep in your mind so from very first question you have to manage the time and uh you can expect these questions uh throughout the test okay the ratio of the test uh these questions uh, imagine if it is a eight questions, that means uh, this is a one standard, you know, complete one standard from first standard and the fourth standards in pedagogy test. They are consisting the eight percent of the test. OK, so that means this is the one complete standards you are going to miss. So this is very important. Let's talk about the uh, questions. Now, uh, this is a mock test 10 and. Uh, this is very interesting questions. I have, I found this is a hard, but uh, when I have uh, seen, you know, uh, interpret these the various component, I found this is a uh, interesting and a little bit complicated, but not that much is hard. Okay. For answering uh, like these questions, first you need to answer, uh, first you need to understand the question. Uh, as you can see, the table below shows the performance of a state school. So performance of a state school, not an individual student. Uh, the second thing is uh, in terms and the third thing, which is the as a comparison of the uh, performance in 2011 and 2012. So the graph has been divided in two parts. One is the math and the other one is the as uh, science. So the performance in math 2011, performance in science 2011, performance in math 2015, and performance in math uh, science 2015. So this, the question is talking about that uh, in which year the uh, school performed well and each year you know, the performance level or the score level uh, has been given into the uh, different colors. As the red color shows the uh, very low or uh, yellow low intermediate and uh, green as high and this and so this is the score in which the a number of the students or the percentage of the students who achieved. So let's see who achieved the more score in high. If the number, you know, that the percentage of the students who achieved 
uh, the you know the percentage of the students is a high in achieving very low scores so that means performance is low if the percentage of student is high in a high score that means it has a high percentage of this is the first thing so i want to uh, start from the red color first red color in 2011 i will be comparing with the uh, 2011 uh, with math and science and then 2015 math and science okay so i want to go like that okay so if you look at the uh, red color the red color shows very low that means score below 39 so how many percentage of the students who secured or obtained the score below uh, very low or means below oh, 39 399 50% in 2011 and uh, similarly uh, the 50% in 2011 in science so 2011 math and science they secure the 50% of the students very low. However, uh, in 2015, 65% uh, in math and 60% of the students, they got a very low. So the performance of the uh, students in 2015 as compared to the, has a more number of the students who get a, secured a very low position into the uh, math and science. Let's talk about the yellow color. The yellow color falls to 400 to 474. So yellow color that shows the 40% in 2011 and 30% this one in 2011 in science. Okay. So that means uh, the yellow color that is the uh, 40% of the students in math in 2011, they secured the score from 400 for 474. However, uh, in science, 30% of the students, uh, you know, the secure is in, uh, sorry, in the first is the math and the second is the sign. If you look at the uh, 2015, the 30% of the uh, students, uh, they uh, secure the score, uh, you know, 400, uh, 474, which is a less than, again, uh, 2011 in math. However, look at the, uh, here, 32%, uh, again, which is a little bit higher into the, 2% uh, is higher to the 2011. In. But overall, if you look the score, again, the, the number uh, of the percentage of the students who secured uh, 400 to 474 score are more than, uh, you know, 2015 again. So 2011 is again higher than uh, 2015. The another thing, uh, which is the gray color, if you look at the 8% of the gray color in 2000, 5% uh, which is in the uh, 2015 math, again, the 2011 is increased. 50%, 15% is the gray color in 2011 in science. Again, science is a more than uh, the more in 2011 and 8% is in the 2015. So there's a significant difference in the gray color which is the intermediate performance from 5400 to 75 percent to 549 again 11% is securing the 8 in math and uh, in 2011 2015 and math they secure 5% 2011 science they secured the 15 percent however 2015 in science secured the eight percent which is clear that 2011 is a uh, better performance than uh, 2015 teams let's talk about the green however the blue we don't see the advanced performance in 2011 math green is performing you know two percent they have a higher result However, in 5% in 2011 science, they have the high, 
five percent. Uh, as for uh, 2015 uh, math, there's a zero, and uh, 2015 science, there's a zero. So, according to this analysis, uh, this is proved that uh, 2011 result is uh, you know better, uh, you know, than uh, the 2015. So the answer without looking the destructor to the compared to the 2011 cycle, the school's performance has a decline in 2015. So the explaining of uh, uh, this question and highlighting the percentage and uh, breaking the uh, question into different parts will help you and uh, will give you an idea that how you can interrupt the question and these bar graphs of the question. Sometimes we see colors and we uh, cannot, uh, uh, you know, the uh, analyze to from where exactly we have to start or from where, uh, what information we have to interpret, okay. So you have to uh, be patient and uh, keep the sequence information from one order to another point, okay, from one point to another point, doesn't matter if you are starting from the uh, green color or any blue color, okay, doesn't matter. Make sure you are segregating and aggregating information as per the question. Moving to the uh, next uh, question, uh, this question you can see here, I found uh, this question uh, is a uh, same question, but they just changed the format accordingly. Now, in the question number 12, they consider the time and the performance that shows the uh, dispute and clashes. However, in this question, they are talking about if uh, they are working in a harmony positions, the performance, how the performance will be. So the uh, performance in disputed position and performance in a harmony positions. The purpose of telling these two questions, uh, that means you have an idea so that from your practice test, from your mock test, these are not, uh, you know, less important. They are more important than you have to uh, uh, think about it, okay? So they can uh, manipulate any type of the questions by uh, changing the values, changing the uh, letters, numbers, and uh, modifying the questions. But the pattern will remain uh, same, okay? So in first, they are talking about if there's a dispute, how the performance will be. And the second question is talking about the right one, uh, number 61, that shows if there's a position of the harmony, how the performance will be. So let's create an, a logic, okay? If there's a dispute, the performance definitely will be uh, affected and a decrease, okay? The horizontal, sticking with the uh, 61, a horizontal vertical line shows the performance and the horizontal uh, uh, line shows the times, okay? And this has been divided in a forming, storming, norming, and performing. Question is asking about uh, team building uh, process goes through four stages. Uh, this one, which I have said already, uh, based on that chart below shows which of these relationship, the team performance at the time it takes to perform the task. In which stage does the team begin to work in harmony? So harmony, um, that means that when we work in a team consistently, orderly, or uh, with a peace and pleasant agreement and arrangement, okay? So definitely when we work in this situation, the performance will increase. If you look at the, from the norm, norming position to performing, now this is the performance that is showing uh, very good performance and you can see it's a consistently orderly the performance is improving from norming to performing okay so uh this is the progress which shows the better progress as compared to the rest of you know. so this is the answer from the norming uh see when the uh the team is in the harmony positions definitely the performance will be better okay over here this performance, I have already already explained this one, the difficulty position or there's a dispute. So dispute is the two. As you can see, they, it is consuming more time, but the performance due to the dispute is not improving. 
which of the following are forms of the professional development help teachers further bridge the gap between theoretically knowledge and practically knowledge of okay. actually we have a two terms one is a macro teaching and a micro teaching so they are connected this is related with this one okay the professional development that training and workshops like we are talking so micro teaching is an effective teacher training why we provide teacher training in order to uh improve the student's performance improve the teaching improve the result improve the progress and all these things okay so if there's a no impact of you know these uh, teacher training program so that is uh, you know something key. there was another question related that how these workshops and the trainings they are impacting on the students perform of course they are impacting on improving the students progress okay so this one is that the training and workshop so when we provide them the training and workshop that will uh they have to utilize into their uh teaching process and uh, during an in instructional time period okay so these were a few important things I wanted to share with you and I hope uh, you will be using uh, these strategies in your upcoming exams and uh, this will help you a lot. If you need any kind of the support or any information related to the pedagogy exam, either in Urdu, ECD pedagogy or pedagogy or computer specialization, okay, please feel free. My WhatsApp number is given in the description and email. I'm available at any time. Okay, we'll be meeting the next lesson for new updates. Till that, bye.